Welcome back everyone, I'm Nick, this is Swiffle Thinking, and I am super excited for this new feature. Uh, in iOS 15, Apple provided us with this modifier called Swipe Actions, and it allows us to add buttons into the swipe gesture on a list row. So earlier in this playlist, we did a whole video on how to use lists. It was called the List Bootcamp. Uh, you, if you're watching this one, you probably watched that one. But when we made that, it was iOS 14. So the only swipe action we had was swipe to delete. And of course we added it and it still works. We still use that all the time. But now in iOS 15, we can also add our own actions. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at this new modifier and play around with some of the different ways that we can add these buttons to our rows. So we can add buttons on the leading edge, we can add buttons on the trailing edge, uh, we can change the button colors, and each button of course will have its own action. And this is yet another reason why we should try to add and incorporate lists into our apps as much as possible. These lists are just super powerful, they're highly performant, and Apple has constantly been adding new features to these lists. So with that said, let's jump into Xcode and add some swipe actions. Okay, we are back in Xcode in the Swiftful Thinking Bootcamp project. Let's right click the navigator, let's create a new file, let's make a Swift UI view, let's call this one List Swipe Actions Bootcamp. Let's click Create. Let's click Resume on the canvas. All right, and uh, as the name implies, we're going to need to make a list for this video. So. Uh, a while back in this playlist, I covered a list bootcamp and we covered lists in detail. And if I jump to that list bootcamp, everything that we did on the original list bootcamp is still relevant in our apps today. We could make sections, we can use the on delete and on move and list row background uh, to make really cool lists. All these lists also have list style, which we could customize. But when we made this list video, there was only one swipe action that we had added to our app and that was the on delete. So let's start with that. I'm gonna take the, the fruits that we had in this bootcamp and let's just paste them into our swipe actions bootcamp here. Let's click resume. So you can just type this out if you want. We have fruits and then on the screen, let's put in a list and then the list will be for each and we're gonna loop on the fruits. Now these fruits are an array of strings. Strings are hashable. We need to use this ID completion here. So we're gonna loop on the fruits. The ID is going to be the hash value which we'll use backslash dot self. Get that hash value for each of these strings. And then the content, I will hit enter. And we're just gonna put a text with the money sign zero for the item that we are looping on which will be apple, orange, banana, peach. We should probably make this dot capitalized look a little bit better. And just to point out that uh, this new completion is that is new to iOS 15. Previously, when we did these for each, we would say for each fruit in, and then we would put the fruit on the screen. When we use the money sign there, it's the exact same thing, except instead of declaring a name for this, we can just use the money sign is zero. All right, now that we got that out of the way, we can use the dot on delete. And then we can perform an action and we're not going to actually make this action but let's just make a funk and say delete and then this delete should get an index set of type index set and we can just call delete from our on delete here if i click resume and we press play on the simulator we can now swipe to delete these i'm not going to actually add the logic to delete these but this was the only swipe gesture that we had on list rows until ios 15. So this is obviously great, but there's a lot more that we often want to do in these rows because deleting is good for a simple app, but more complex apps, you may want to do other things like archive an email or move it to the junk folder or something like that. And thankfully in iOS 15, we get these new swipe actions. So it's super simple to use. I'm going to comment out our on delete function and we're just going to add on each of these rows, we'll add dot swipe actions. And we get two completions here. This second one is just a convenience, it's shorter, but let's use the first one so we can go through all the customizations. Edge, which edge do we want the swipe actions to come in on? The left side, which is the leading edge, or the right side, which is the trailing edge? Generally, this is by default the trailing edge, so let's go with that. Allows full swipe, we'll talk about in a second, let's just put it as true, and then the content, we'll press enter. 
And now in this content section, we can add all of the buttons that we want to pop in. So I'm gonna add a button and let's use the uh, title and action. Let's call this one maybe, I don't know, archive. And the action will just press enter for a second. We're not even gonna fill it in. And I just wanna show you guys that when we add these swipe actions, now we immediately get these new buttons on the side, which is so convenient because it would take a lot of code to add this level of customization to a list. So we can add multiple buttons here. We can add, let's do two more. Let's make this one save, like, like this one, maybe junk, I don't know. And we can see now we swipe in and we get three buttons coming in from the right side here. Awesome, obviously they don't look great. We can change their colors. We can change the dot tint on these buttons. Let's make this one green. Let's make this one tint of blue. And the last one, let's give a tint of maybe black because it's junk. And we can then change our colors just like that. It's that awesome. We can also add leading if we want to instead have these come in from the left side. So we can do something like that. Uh, let's put it back to trailing, but let's actually copy this modifier and paste another one here. And so the first one we'll leave as trailing with those three buttons. And the second one, let's do leading. And let's just give it maybe one button that says share. Let's make this one uh, yellow. I'm gonna get rid of these buttons down here. And now we have in our app, we can swipe from the right side, we get these, and we can swipe from the left side. And of course, we can perform actions in any of these buttons, which is super, super handy, super, super convenient. Last thing I wanna show you guys is allows full swipe. So generally this is used if there's only one item, if there's only one button, uh, you can use it with multiple, but basically if you swipe a little bit, you get this pop up here, but if the user swipes all the way to the end like that, then they can execute that, that action without having to click on the button. So often that's used in the delete. If you go all the way to the end of the delete, you could just delete something but it's cool that we can actually have this in our custom buttons as well. So again, right now, if I hold this all the way, we can see the share, the actual text for the share goes all the way to the right side, indicating that we're gonna execute that action. And if I turn it to false, in our full, allows full swipe down here, we can see that I can never get that far because I can't actually do that. Generally, allows full swipe, great feature if there's only one, but if you have multiple like this, then allowing the full swipe could be a little confusing um, because it's gonna like push over the other buttons. So I would recommend really only doing it for if you have one button, but you can do it for multiple. But that is pretty much it. That's this whole video, just very simple. We can add swipe actions. You guys who are just learning SwiftUI probably aren't gonna realize this, but the amount of code that it would take to add this feature, even in UI kit, is just so much logic compared to uh, how easy we can just add a dot swipe actions. This is literally magic and I am so hyped about this feature. Such a small feature, but so powerful in your apps. And this is yet another reason why we should try to use lists more often in our apps. I know myself included a lot of times when we're building apps, we don't wanna use a list because we can use a VStack with a scroll view and that works kind of the same way. But these lists, as Apple adds more features, are really becoming so handy because they have styles, they have now swipe actions, and the list of features on a list is just growing. So highly recommend trying to use lists in your app and now you can use swipe actions as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are liking and learning. Uh, and as always, I'm Nick, this is Swiffle Thinking, and I'll see you in the next video.